Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Very good morning. Okay, boleh dengar suara saya? Boleh tak? Clear tak suara saya? Before we start our class. Clear sir. Okay. Alright, alright. Right, uh, I check. Oh, baru ada 29 orang. Mm -hmm. Assalamualaikum. Okay, uh, mana foreigner? Is there any foreigner there? Tak ada lagi. Okay. Okay, uh, sebelum uh, kita start kelas, saya just nak remind beberapa perkara lah. Uh, antaranya berkaitan dengan assignment kita. So, assignment saya baru publish semalam. Tapi drawing saya belum bagi lagi kan. So, minta maaf sebab drawing masih tak settle lagi. Uh, proses uh, proses uh, editing. So, sebab kami baru dapat penjual projek-projek tu, drawing projek tu. Uh, dan sekarang kami tengah dalam proses uh, delete lah nak bagi clear untuk kamu semua lah sebab kalau kami bagi semua tu kalau kami bagi semua sekali drawing yang dapat tu uh, nanti kamu akan confuse uh, part mana yang kamu nak kena fokus untuk buat sebab contoh kita bagi building uh, kita dapat building uh, empat tingkat so kita tak bagi kat kamu sampai empat empat tingkat pun kita pun uh, kan so kita kita bagi just dua tingkat saja so sekarang ni kita dalam proses nak edit yang tu lah so, kita nak asingkan tapi kalau kamu dah ready nak buat dah, kamu nak ambil juga tu semua, kami boleh ya bagi kan, nak buat semua. Okay sebab uh, sekarang ada 39 orang, saya ingat saya just nak tunjuk dulu uh, untuk semua uh, yang masuk awal ni lah, masuk awal at least dia dapat gambaran awal dia punya projek tu. Okay so siapa ada nak request nak tengok projek dia yang mana sebelum kita saya start kelas. Siapa nak uh, nak tengok dia punya layout dulu boleh saya nak tolong buka Kamu boleh nampak lah at least kamu nampak projek kamu tu Group mana nak bagi tahu saya bu boleh tolong buka Okay hmm. Semua tak mau Okay tak mau tengok okay tunggu lah Haa apa dah? Group apa? Empat Projek nombor empat pulak maman Okay adik Tujuh sah Apa-apa? Tujuh kan? Grup tujuh. Haa ah. okay sekejap. Empat dengan tujuh request saya buka lah. Empat dengan tujuh lah. Alamak ay. Sekali lagi saya tak boleh share screen. Ay. Sekejap lah saya kena log out dulu saya punya PC saya, saya, saya datang balik tunggu sekejap. Hmm, hmm, hmm.
Okay, sorry, sorry. Saya lupa buka mic dulu. Okay, ya. So, saya share up uh, group nombor 4 kan. So, group nombor 4 ni, uh, kalau dia nak boleh dah sebab dah siap dah ni. Cik, mungkin Cik Faizul dah settle kan. Uh, so, simple ya. Blok, uh, blok makmal. So, saya just open je. At least kamu dapat. At least kamu ada uh, gambaran awal. Sekejap ni eh, loading lambat sikit. Saya kena restart PC saya baru boleh. Mana dia? Siapa pula ni Akhil Effendi ni? Hai, nak drawing saya dah hilang lah. Tak lagi. Haa, ah, okey. Terkejut saya tiba-tiba. Haa, -tiba. uh, okey. So this is uh, sample, bukan sample lah, this uh, for group number, number ada dua group kan yang akan buat uh, project number four ni. Okay, so project uh, number four dia kena blok makmal, so this is the blok makmal lah. So dua tingkat, dua blok, sorry, dua blok eh. So this one is the same blok lah ni. So ni je dia punya nak kena design, so you just refer, boleh nampak? kan lebih kurang lah sebab dalam google tak apa nampak so at least you nampak lah bangunan bentuk bangunan kamu tu and then uh, this one uh, bengkel lah so bila you, you jumpa map bengkel so you kena design for bengkel lah for lighting system so uh, our assignment is uh, part by part tau so uh, assignment one you design lighting so you complete it uh, and then you submit okay so for uh, assignment two Uh, we design another thing, maybe schematic and so on. But the same building eh, the same project. So uh, let's say you, your group uh, get this project, kan? Uh, project number four, blok makmal. So you perform start from today until complete this semester lah. And then maybe uh, you will continue this project for next semester for ATP2. Okay, so uh, please uh, know this drawing very well. Okay, so every part, every area you need to know. Okay, because uh, normally we will ask uh, based on your your design after this. Uh. Let's say we, we will ask how many toilet that you have, uh, which area of the toilet, right or left, and then how many air, uh, floor, kan? Tinggal satu, tinggal dua ke? This one tinggal bawah. And this one, yang, kat, yang bawah ni, this one, uh, for socket, Rowing. The same building lah. Eh? Same tingkat bawah juga. Same. So untuk pro projek ni, group ni, so lucky lah. Eh? Sebab dia dapat uh, satu tingkat yang block sahaja. And this part, uh, socket, uh, you tak perlu di redesign. No need to redesign for socket. So you can uh, check back only. Okay. And then you, you need to calculate back lah. Eh? Uh, but this one uh, for next uh, assignment. Okay. Uh, so we don't, we decide to don't uh, delete the socket drawing and just let uh, all of you just uh, recalculate back only for, uh, from the socket uh, drawing. Okay, and then uh, for this group also uh, you need to design for this this block. Okay, you have two block lah because there are only one floor. So you need to design, uh, sorry, sorry this one tak habis delete lagi ni. Okay, so I will edit later. Okay, so uh, this this also the same uh, building. So this one for socket and this one for lighting actually. Yeah. So for assignment, you just copy uh, this block for lighting and then you you draw the lighting. Uh, let's say for like this lah, uh, kan? So let's say you just uh, you already calculate. Uh, you just uh, complete the Excel and then you you draw into the layout design, kan? So dalam layout, you just buat macam ni lah. Okay, you draw the symbol of a lamp and then you make a circuit. Number of circuit. Okay, so maximum uh, one circuit is uh, 10 numbers of socket. Uh, sorry, 10 numbers of lighting, lamp per, so uh, per circuit eh. 
this uh, let's say uh, this five uh, lamp one two three four five and connected with red dotted red line ni kan line ni kan so meaning that this is only uh, one circuit and they uh, label it with this name okay l1 r5 so why we need this uh, number after this from this uh, you need to draw the schematic diagram so the schematic diagram uh, we will uh, start we will perform on the lab 3 so after the raya kan so for this assignment no need to draw the schematic yet just perform excel and the layout saja okay so the schematic we will wait uh, for the next uh, lab and after that we perform the schematic diagram lah including of lighting okay so itu saja okay untuk group 4 so you need to perform two two block lah okay one one level two block block this one and this one yeah. kalau you nak uh, if you want to see the real building also can you can go to the pusat kejuteraan just uh, behind apa uh, FTKE saja so this block okay uh, and then uh, for this one you can since the uh, we we can find okay uh, the drawing uh, side elevation okay and then we decide to set for you floor to ceiling is three meter okay and then uh, for the uh, distance of the your SSB to MSB so for this project MSB you need to decide where is the location but the distance is around 100 meter okay and then uh, the size for ceiling okay is uh, 1200 by 600 eh, for all all area for the whole eh, for the whole except except toilet eh. okay so you need to use uh, you need to consider the size of ceiling okay and based on that you need to select correct the uh, lighting okay so uh, this just to remind uh. also uh, but for this building for this building uh, building height because this is the high rise building uh, actually uh, it's same with uh, two floor okay but uh, this is a lab so that's why it's very high rise uh. so you need to consider the height of this uh, block is seven meter okay so for I think uh, two or three group uh, will will use this uh, this drawing. Okay, for whoever uh, or which group that uh, need to perform for project number four, please uh, please remember what I already told just now. Okay, and then uh, second is a uh, project number seven, right? Tadi anda request project number seven kan? Yes, sir. So project number seven, saya belum edit lagi. So this one uh, also un under Unimed building. So kalau you nak pergi jalan-jalan ke tengok building yang 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 real, okay, no problem. You can go there, and then you will understand more why uh, and how to design it. Okay, uh, for this project, you on you only have to to block some more. Tingkat bawah and tingkat satu okay you only have one block one block uh, let's say okay this is the whole building of mecha mechatronic punya building kalau you all pergi tu sana tu uh, you akan nampak dia punya building sini kan ni this main entrance of building uh, mecha tronic yang blue color tu okay so Group, group, uh, group uh, yang only group seven. So part ni sahaja. Cuma uh, this uh, block uh, have two floor, kan? Dia ada dua tingkat. So this one lah. This one is a uh, uh, first floor, okay? First floor, and then this is the second floor, okay? So in that one, uh, yang ni pun saya belum siap delete lagi. So wait lah, wait. Uh, maximum Friday lah. Uh, ataupun paling lewat Sabtu lah. I try to complete uh, delete it. 
all of this one. So you akan dapat uh, blank dokumen lah. Okay, uh, blank uh, blank building lah. Macam ni saya dah buat siap-siap. Kan, real, real drawing. This one pakai downlight, saya tak mahu lah. You copy dia kan. So you design uh, based on what you want to to uh, to design lah. You nak propose which type of lighting. It depend on your group. Uh, whatever you can but you need to justify say, why I want to choose this lighting. Okay. So I think that's all uh, for simple briefing for the project. Okay. Uh, so ini pun sama konsep dia. Uh, so this one dua dua three meter eh, the height for building. This one three meter, this one also three meter. Okay. Clear eh? So tak ada yang lain kan? Dah request tak ada yang lain kan? So at least uh, you got some idea. And what I want to try to uh, remind all of you regarding to the assignment is uh, this assignment very simple. Dah, saya check balik apa yang saya tulis semalam. Assignment ya. Eh. Class work. Assignment one. Okay. Uh, please complete your your report. Okay. Including of uh, introduction, objective, methodology. Ada lagi kat bawah tu. Jangan lupa scroll down eh. Takut kamu tengok until here saja. Mereka dia ada lagi kat bawah tu. Tapi saya copy kenapa tak lekat ni. Okay. Okay. And then uh, result lah. Result. So your result is a uh, using layout tau. You, you need to print out the drawing of the layout. Layout meaning that uh, drawing tu lah. Block bangunan yang you, you already draw all of the lighting. So you need to go to somewhere or you can print also at uh, our lab lah, lab power electronic drive uh, uh, using that machine photo state lah. Okay, so uh, print size A3. If you do not know how to print, you can ask the technician lah. Okay, uh, maybe huh, because you need to submit uh, tak rasa bagi bila eh. You did lah. Bulan Mei kan. Lepas raya kan. Nah, so lepas after hari raya. Okay. Okay. Uh, you need to to cover three things. Main main part. Main part. Okay. Dalam metodologi. Sorry kenapa dia ada di space tu kan. Uh, make sure that you need to to explain on how to design lah. Macam mana you explain you guna formula apa kan. You guna table lah. You just uh, take one area. You take one area and then you explain on how you you design the lighting system. And then the the whole macam apa the Excel apa semua tu you just uh, put on the appendix for the whole one. In text, okay, text of your report. You just explain one and you just pick up one area and then you explain lah. The, the whole step by step that you just uh, you took to to calculate of the lighting system. And then you you explain uh, one by one. So let's say uh, for lux, what is lux? And then uh, you determine how to how to choose which lux, uh, refer to what and so on. You explain back lah. I believe that uh, we already learned uh, last week kan. So you, you transfer back and what we have uh, learned. And then uh, you need to justify also lighting selection. Okay let's say uh, for the lobby kan. So you, you want to select the lamp type of downlight or chandelier and so on whatever model lighting that you want to choose for your project but you need to justify why uh, this area you want to choose this lighting. You just uh, make it some tag of one paragraph for justify for your design. Okay so uh, maybe you, you design whatever design whatever of lighting system that you propose in your design you need to have some justification there at least paragraph lah. Satu muka surat kah, you buat part by part kah. It depend on you. Okay. We don't have a specific format. So very free format. You just perform it. We just want to check the content of your report. Okay. Format you nak kata nak kena 2.5 by 4 kah yang tu kita tak tengok pun. Okay. Uh, at least you ada empat benda ni. Okay. Intro, objective, method. Yang method, part method very very constrained lah. Okay. And then under method juga you you need to make sure that you touch okay some okay design solution uh, bukan benda uh, 
you nak kena consider benda-benda ni public health and safety so make sure you have explain one paragraph or one page je related to this uh, part lah uh, you can choose either one uh, health ke safety ke culture society and environment you can uh, if you have uh, you make the design and then you try to explain related to this one let's say safety so what how how you can relate your design to make sure you you perform the safety under your design you consider the uh, safety issue under your design you, you try to elaborate some there ha, ini kalau nak dapat full mark punya report lah punya markah lah so I just explain at least uh, you got some idea to prepare and then uh, you also need to apply reasoning informed by context knowledge to access uh, ni sama lah lebih kurang tadi tu kan okay uh, yang penting saya nak nak ada related to the public health and safety apa semua tu okay uh, clear and then uh, lastly result lah lay out of your project and lastly you, you conclude what you have done okay clear very simple so rubric uh, maybe you nak check kan macam mana you nak dapat how to get full mark so uh, rubric yeah. not complete yet not complete yet rubric uh, mana dia nanti I wait lah I will upload dalam uh, google classroom okay so that's all uh, for simple briefing so can we start our class eh we start our class eh so group lain tak uh, group lain tunggulah okay tak kita tunjuk semua tak tak sempat pula kelas kita nanti okay So I believe that all of you have uh, download our latest uh, topic. We need to little bit fast eh. Actually uh, referring to the our teaching plan. This week we will uh, we still on topic lighting kan. But uh, since uh, our next group uh, already start uh, chapter 4 so I need to start also lah chapter 4 because uh, when we discuss with uh, Mr. Asnizam he said we need to uh, fast complete the the basic topic related to your project if not uh, you cannot perform completely uh, during your project so that's why we try to to settle it earlier uh, related to your uh, project lah so whatever topic related on your project we will try to cover uh, earlier okay and I hope all of you can beri perhatian betul-betul lah eh take full attention lah okay sebab I believe that very fast week 4 we start topic 4 kan so kalau siapa yang tak tak boleh catch up you can directly contact us lah ha, saya jumpa saya ke or Mr. Tinza you can discuss balik mana yang you tak faham you, you kena clearkan cepat-cepat if not you got prob, uh, trouble Okay. Okay. Now we start uh, topic uh, four. Uh, today I, I set lah. Uh, we try to cover two, two, uh, two slide lah. Uh, four A and four B. I hope we can we can settle it lah. Uh. Okay. So chapter four is a. Uh, uh, this one Mr Hasnizam nya slide. I I'm using Mr Hasnizam uh, slide. Okay, and this is Mr. Hanizam actually. <laughs> okay, so the topic is a uh, switch gear, protection device, power factor correction. This is the whole topic, but for today we just cover switch gear only. The last part is uh, power factor correction, uh, but that one is very important part. Uh, but I will just leave it uh, for week three. Week three under this topic. Okay, I I have a uh, Decided for this topic, we try to arrange it for four week 
four time uh, four time we meet and we try to uh, discuss it okay step by step because uh, this topic very very long topic and it it was very important and uh, i try to separate it yeah, actually i can complete it by one one uh, one week but i try to separate it uh, into uh for your easy understanding and better for for discussion uh. okay yeah saya lupa bagi attendant eh. saya copy ya kan saya belum lagi attendant lagi kan sambil-sambil tu okey sambil-sambil tu boleh isi nama nama tak isi tak apa yang penting nombor matrik saja okey okey so low low voltage switch gear so for this topic okey uh, for this topic we just cover on low voltage saja okey uh, i will not cover on high voltage side because uh, if we consider the high voltage so uh, it, it was uh, completely different eh? and then uh, maybe uh, on under topic uh, substation nanti uh, maybe around a uh, week 10 and or week 11 uh, we try to cover one topic uh, with substation so uh, on that topic I will try explain uh, related to the uh, high voltage uh, switch gear but on your design please perform low voltage only uh. low voltage meaning that uh, below 1 kilo volt uh. Uh, and normally we perform until 400 uh, volt sahaja ok so switch gear ni apa uh, so the, the definition is okay, they say that the point at which incoming power supply divide into separate circuit so let's say uh, this is this is the MSB we call it main switch board lah. ok MSB and you need to design this one on your project uh, but we, we will discuss it on the lab 3 lah later after hari raya uh, so please join the lab and okay and then we try to discuss uh, detail on the msb because uh, this is the real drill msb but on your our project we just uh, uh, design the msb so whatever component here okay we design on the schematic so and you need to understand every single part on your de on your design on your drawing okay even if you can see that uh, this uh, pilot lamp kan lampu RYB that also you need to draw on your uh, schematic diagram and you need to understand what is this and uh, what does uh, it symbol it represent to what so that uh, that's what we will try to discuss today okay uh, it divide into separate circuit is uh, of which is controlled and protect by fuse and switch gear so this uh, okay normally it's come by uh, down lah okay from here and then uh, supply from from TMB lah normally okay so the uh, it's coming by underground cable so underground cable and then it tap it will tap uh, from the apa underground and then uh, this uh, this level uh, we call it trenches lah dari lubang kat bawah, the hole uh, below this uh, MSB so the cable will terminate from uh, the underground and then uh, connection uh, it bend to up this and then we will perform the termination here okay so this is the, con the concept and then from here uh, you said separate circuit from here we try to separate lah for this part uh, kan uh, from separation or maybe this one uh, we, we we try to separate to ssb1 ssb2 ssb3 and so on so this is the where the location we try to separate circuit okay each of which to control and protect by fuse and every single of part ni to separate it, we must pro, pro provide uh, the the single of uh, fuse lah or to all switch gear to as a protection okay and then it also used for power distribution so this we call distribution distribution and from one we try to distribute to the another part okay ssb1 is the another distribution system okay 
Uh, and also maybe also more motor power supply and to supply building service. It depends on the system of your building. And then uh, on the switch gear also, it have uh, some uh, component, it incl including of uh, switching, protecting, conversion, control, regulating, monitor, and measurement equipment. Okay. Uh, if you refer to the schematic diagram, uh, you can see clearly lah, uh, the detail of the uh, component of uh, the MSB or switch gear. So switching, apa yang faham dengan uh, related to switching? So switching is switch lah, switch on off, whatever whatever the uh, model of the ACB ke, MCCB ke, uh, we, we, uh, we call it switching. Because the function is to on and off, alright? On the supply will, will go into the uh, the distribution system. When we off, we can perform the maintenance and so on lah. Okay. So for the protecting, we have uh, also the ACB and uh, all of the breaker uh, related to the protection in order to protect the whole of the system. And then conversion, um, um, we also have the conversion part let's say uh, we have a CT, VT, NPT, uh, current transformer kan. So current transformer we use it for conversion, convert uh, from high high level of the current, let's say for current transformer, we want to convert it or we want to step down it into the very low uh, current, uh, barulah we uh, you connect here. Let's say you have a 1000, 1000. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Sorry, pandai pandai lah Siri keluar. Okay. <laughs> Sampai mana lah, terlupa lah saya lah. Tak apalah. Okay, uh, okay yang current city tadi kan sebab now if you can see from this uh, figure, let's say we have a meter. An uh, meter kan. A meter, uh, the, volt, the M only 5 M saja. A meter kan emitter at this uh, MSB. Our input is 100 kilo M. Let's say lah. Uh, ataupun 100 M. 100 M. Uh, your your project. Let's say your project is 100 M. And how does a small meter that we put here, okay, small emitter need to show 100 meter, 100 M. Because this one very small meter. If you want to to to, to have a no conversion so you need to have a, a big meter to cover lah 100M you, you can you imagine 100M current you nak connect to the very small uh, ampere meter macam mana kan so that's why you need to have uh, some uh, another component that able to convert uh, the high current to the lowest uh, current uh, the one we will cover after this and then uh, LV switch gear is designed for switching and protection of uh, electrical uh, equipment. So this is the main, the main uh, function uh, that we, that's why we provide the switch gear. Okay. Uh, kalau orang cakap, orang cakap switch gear, mungkin maybe you don't understand what does, apa switch gear tu sebenarnya kan. Kita tak nampak switch gear tu apa. Kan. So switch gear, because uh, in real real equipment, we just can find main switch board, sub switch board, distribution board. And then our topic is switch gear. So switch gear is related to which one? Switch gear is covered to all of that, which uh, design for switching and protection. Okay. Uh, kalau you ada design switching and protection, so meaning that, uh, that is switch gear system. Okay, for electrical lah. Kalau topik lain, jangan lah. Uh, okay, the selection of switch gear is based on specific switching task, based on your design. Okay, selection switch gear. Uh, maybe you want to decide ACB, we have VCB, we have MCCB, okay. and many type of the switching. But it depends on your uh, load lah, ataupun switching task, you nak macam mana. How does the, the protection scheme will be performed? So that it depends on type of the equipment lah. Okay, and then you also depend on isolation. Let's say you want to isolate, isolate uh, this part. Let's say if uh, you got some fault, uh, come into your your project, and then how how you are going to isolate the fault to make sure that the fault is not uh, cover the all of uh, your project, kan? 
Takkanlah disebabkan fault tu ada di lampu Tapi satu bangunan trip ha, kan So macam mana how you are going to isolate the fault from uh, circuit lamp lighting only You just cover lighting lah trip Trip only for lighting system The rest the rest uh, circuit is uh, is not affected So this the concept of isolation eh Okay and then the Azia current braking system and motor switching uh, protection and so on Okay and it also depend on type switch gear approach can be used for single or multiple switch uh, switching task kan so you you can design also that the switch gear possible uh, for switching uh, one level or two level Okay, let's say, let's say you have uh, this one is a uh, ODB kan, this one SSB and then this MSB kan. So multiple switching task. So you can control uh, this part can shut down kan. Uh, by uh, you set lah uh, switching kat kalau trip kat sini, uh, let's say trip at this DB. So uh, you do, you want to If this one uh, trip, this also trip and this also trip, it depend lah. Uh, it can be set like that. Okay. Or multiple switching kan, switching task. Let's say uh, this one uh, trip, fault here. And then uh, the rest also tripping. Uh, you can set it. Tapi uh, that that condition is not not apa, smart lah kan. Uh, we want to design that if if uh, there are fault coming here. So the rest are uh, DB still maintain, uh, maintain and then uh, this SSP also can maintain, perform uh, because some of the designer they don't uh, design the correct way so when Ford come here so the, the whole building, the whole is system is stripped okay. and then uh, switching tasks can also be conducted by combination of several switch, switch gear unit So normally ya, yeah, normally it, it conduct by combination several tu maksud dia if you can check back your design, very simple design, you have RCCB kan and then uh, you also have the uh, MCCB kan uh, this is the combination lah, several, several uh, switching uh, switch gear unit okay and then uh, some maybe let's say you 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 cover with uh, ELR kan ELR. So ELR it must came aduh cak eh nak apa. Okay you must uh, add on the uh, uh, what we call it uh, a relay here uh, relay as protection it, it must it must there okay so this uh, what we call it combination Uh. Okay next So this uh, table uh, shows the function of the switch gear So normally normally uh, we separate into the three lah So number one is uh, the protection Okay We, des we design the uh, switch gear in order to To cover this function protection So the protection uh, it able to protect Uh, uh, overload, short circuit and insulation failure normally you need to design to cover all this uh, protection okay overload macam mana uh, so later I will, we will cover how short circuit uh, macam mana condition of the how does condition uh, of short circuit and then insulation failure so how to protect if the cable the, uh, the cable are, are broken or failure uh, so what does the uh, how we are going to design it lah, uh, that's macam tu and then number two is uh, isolation so the isolation is uh, by a torus field proof mechanical indicator or a gap of interposed insulating barrier between the open contact clearly visible ini kita nak asingkan memang to isolate okay the, the switching uh, switch gear okay and then uh, number three is control we want to control it right? to make it uh, functional switching, emergency switching, emergency stopping and then switching off for mechanical maintenance lah. 
So pro, uh, switch gear. Uh, we need to co we we need to design which are able to control uh, the system lah. So let's say we want to perform the maintenance. So you just simply we can control the supply. We just switch off uh, on the protection part lah. Okay, switch gear tu kita off uh, dekat switch gear. Let's say for the uh, SSB one, kan? We switch off uh, that and then we 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 can do a maintain maintenance there. Alright, on the SSB one lah. Yeah, this is the picture lah of the component of low voltage. Maybe, maybe some of you, uh, I believe that most of you already found it. You dah pernah tengok. You already seen it everywhere. But uh, we just to remind back lah. Okay. So under switch gear, so we have a uh, ACB, which is uh, air circuit breaker, MCCB, molded case circuit breaker. And this, this one is ACB lah. Okay, and then this is uh, the MCCB. So kat rumah kamu tu apa? Nama apa? And we have a miniature circuit breaker, MCB. We have protection relay. We have ELR. We have IDMT. And we have uh, CT and PT. So all of these components are under switch gear. Okay, so you need to decide for your project and for your protection part. Okay, let's say NDB, your DB. You want to put ACB ke, MCCB ke, MCB sahaja. Your DB. Can I ask? Very simple. Your DB ni macam kat rumah you all kan? Your housing kan? Yang dekat depan rumah tu normally they put a box, a DB box tu lah. Under DB tu ada apa? MCB ke? Uh, MCCB lagi, Paris? Selain MCCB ada apa lagi? RCB. RCB, yes. RCB, you, know? you try to complete the name. RCCD, RCCB. Ha. ELCB. ELCB, yes. ELCB dia sama macam uh, apa? Uh, ELCB sama RCCB lah. Actually dia function. Uh, okay. So boleh tak kita letak uh, ELR? on our db boleh ah this is the sample yang ni this is the elr eh boleh kita letak elr dekat db rumah kita at our house can we put the elr in our db can or not ha tak sure sir tak sure ah eh? Ingat ni pelomo X di pelomo ramai ni. Boleh tak? Oh, tanya boleh tak boleh left pula dah. Hai. Boleh sir. <laughs> boleh. Jawapan ni boleh tak kisah cuma tengok load dulu lah. Kan. Normally we we decide whatever uh, component you want to install it must have uh, Y and Y. Is it possible ke tak? Kalau load rumah kamu Uh, pendah je, takkan you nak pakai ELR kan, tak perlu pun so, Memadai lah pakai ELCB And, Tapi tak boleh nak cakap sebab maybe rumah you macam rumah Iron Man kan uh, It have a lot of system kan Macam-macam uh, hydraulic and so on, aircon, the lift, uh, everything is Including on your house kan, so that's Your house kena ada lah Kena ada ELR lah So, how to choose the ELR Uh, later we will cover it. Siapa yang ada buku tu dia boleh buka. Sekejap saya buka buku je. Okay so buku ni dia ada dalam kos surat Okay ni Satu enam satu ni dalam page 161 ni, uh, we have a table. Sorry, tak apa nampak. We have a table that uh, indicate on how to select MCCB ke, ICCB ke, ELR or over current effort. Uh, so, important lah dia, the table tu you need to remember. Sebab 
uh, as a designer nanti kan you, you design design sampai part uh, breaker kan eh breaker ni when to use MCCB ke ACB ya eh? uh, you need to have uh, the guideline okay kalau tak ada guideline itu susah lah memang tak boleh buat pun lah yang tu okay and then uh, the another component is uh, metering or measuring equipment lah kita panggil measuring equipment Okay, uh, example frequency meter, uh, MD, emitter, emitter, volt meter and power meter. Uh, yang ni semua normally we include it on uh, either SSB or uh, MSB saja. Jarang-jarang orang letak pada DB kan sebab DB uh, DB only small kan how we can put this uh, all this thing. But if you want to have it also possible to 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 include it uh, and nowadays uh, we are no longer uh, use this uh, meter but still can use it but uh, we are following to the technology now kita guna meter apa siapa tahu uh, saya try tunjuk okay this sample of a digital power meter okay which is uh, we install only one meter Instead, previously, kalau uh, if you referring back to the slide, we need at least 5 meter kan? So you need to put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to check single uh, single apa measurement kan? Current, we have 1 meter current. Voltage, 1 meter. Power factor. But for latest technology, we just uh, include uh, let's say for this uh, digital power meter lah. Okay, so you can save a lot of uh, money and a lot of space on your design. So you just put one uh, drawing, uh, you, you just draw DPM, digital power meter. So the supplier of the main switch book will understand or oh, just mean uh, metering for this project, for this MSB, use uh, digital. So digital ni, you put one digital meter and then you just select je, you nak baca power factor. You just uh, select power factor, emitter, volt meter, current and so on. Uh, so that's the latest technology that you must use during uh, for your project. But if you decide to maintain old school punya design, tak ada masalah. Maintain je lah. Saya tak marah. Eh kenapa gelap pula ni. Sorry ya. Kenapa ya? Kenapa? Okay ya. Okay. Hey. So and now we have a, a power meter. Now the second thing is. Uh, component under, still under component, so which is, this is the MCB and I believe that all of your house uh, must have it, kalau tak ada after class you can go and check back lah if your house uh, have apa, under your distribution board tu including this uh, MCB or not, uh, but normally we only have a single kan uh, single this only one, normally ya. Yeah. I believe most of the house uh, use only single uh, single MCB okay so please check back either have or not kalau if your house don't have the breaker so I suggest to put it lah uh, okay you you need to perform by yourself lah uh. you kan kalau tak ada protection uh, maybe you can have a supply but uh, very dangerous lah uh. okay and then uh, this is the ACB a circuit breaker uh, for the big uh, project and it depends uh, on how many M for your project. So after, uh, you need to calculate first the total uh, uh, current of your project and based on that you decide uh, which component uh, need to install on your project. Okay. Uh, okay. The function circuit breaker is uh, device that switch on and switch off ah dia nak function on and off and this, you can use this one for on and off but for the ACB uh, different 
and concept but still function to on and off you need you, you use the air, air circuit breaker so you using uh, air udara lah untuk for for breaker to function and then uh, normal condition mean no failure of equipment and no mistake of for of personnel okay so itu maksud dia lah and then uh, we have also uh, component uh, protection relay uh, this one uh, under uh, relay uh, this is we call it ELR okay ELR or EFR and this one is IDMT IDMT is uh, normally we install IDMT for the bigger uh, size of the project compared to the ELR okay do it for long sorry Okay, uh, okay. The step is uh, normally uh, this uh, breaker uh, ELCB. Okay, and then uh, ELR. If not, we perform IDMT. Yeah. So this the the level of the selection uh, for this one. Uh, small design. Uh, small design. And then this a medium, and then this a high high design, high uh, high ampere project. Okay, so uh, the function of the relay, okay, the sense any changes in the signal which it is receiving, usually from current or voltage. So that's why for every uh, for this component, it must came with the current transformer. It must connect to the CT. And let's say your, your design schematic diagram, uh, you draw, uh, let's say for ELR, you just draw ELR symbol, but you not uh, include the uh, what we call it uh, CT. So, meaning that uh, this wrong, wrong design. Lah. So, when you're dealing with the relay, make sure you, you must include also the CT or VT because uh, this relay only can perform with very low uh, current or low voltage kan let's say uh, your unit is 100 amp as I mentioned as I mentioned earlier uh, 100 amp kan but ELR, ELR only can send very small current so you need to step down uh, the current first using current transformer okay next and this is the current transformer just I talk kan Okay, this is sample of current transformer. Bulat saja. So, how to install current transformer? You can see here. And this is the bus bar ni. This is we call bus bar. Uh, for those uh, yang tak pernah kenal uh, bus bar, this is the, the bus bar. Okay, this bus bar, bus bar. R, Y, B. And this one ne neutral. Okay. So, we, we need to put the current transformer through and uh, through okay so the the bus bar must uh, lalu ikut sini eh okay so this uh, city will uh, will read the the current uh, flowing into uh, the bus bar so from that uh, let's say this uh, bus bar is a uh, 100 m so from 100 m this uh, uh, transformer will send 100 m and then uh, using it uh, ratio turn ratio so it will step down lah. so normally it will output dalam 5 m sahaja so uh, bagus lah kan so you nak deal you nak you nak uh, you want to play with the uh, uh, apa metering tu it's not too dangerous lah compared to 100 m 100 m siapa berani pegang kan uh, who who there to touch the 100 amps but with 5 amps so simply you can uh, do anything okay and then uh, the main task of uh, instrument okay under under city tadi lah so there are two function of uh, city okay uh, in, number one is instrument okay uh, to transform current or voltage from usually high value to easy value as I mentioned earlier lah. and then to I insulate the relay to, make, to insulate the relay ya, to control the relay kalau if you don't have the CT so confirm the relay will be burned and because the relay is uh, working on very small uh, current okay 
and then to provide possibility of standardizing the relay and instrument uh, because uh, the relay okay or instrument metering lah uh, it have a standard value so that's why we need to have this uh, uh what we call it a ct to make sure that uh, the relay can function lah. Uh, okay and then uh, under city we have a burden okay uh, normally we, we want to buy or we want to check the characteristic of our city uh, it referring to the burden burden yeah burden ni apa so burden ni dia value in ohm we check the value okay and then uh, this is the secondary part lah secondary side of the city due to the uh, relay or meter connection so just uh, check on the how many burden of the city and then you uh, you check is it uh, possible to to apply or not okay so but because uh, in uh, market we have a lot of a uh, city and you need to select suitable into your design kan you cannot simply pick up any any size of the city tak you need to know which is very suitable to your project and it depend normally it depend on the burden value Okay, and then uh, the primary current contain uh, two component. Okay, uh, first is the exciting current. Okay, which uh, magnetize the core and supply the eddy current and hysteresis losses. Uh, macam tu lah. Uh, transformer current, transformer you, you understand kan? We have a macam tu transformer kan? So, this is primary, this is secondary. Kan? So, the, the exciting current which magnetize, magnetize the core uh can concept uh transformer kan so dia magnetizekan core iron tu and then from that uh, it will energize lah kan dia ada hysteresis losses apa semua tu uh, it will uh, have the wah ni, ni topik chapter satu dulu kan eh, uh, first year punya kan eddy current and so on tu the concept very basic concept lah let's say you have the ni kan the city and then you have the uh, coil. Uh, well, this coil will uh, will have uh, when we have uh, the current flow through this uh, uh, city, kan? Bila ada ar arus lalu, so gelo ni will magnetize lah, kan? When we have a current uh, through uh, under the coil, so the coil will be magnetized and from the magnetized it will produce the magnetic flux lah. And then this we, we call it the eddy current and the losses, stress losses and from there uh, this current ni lah yang we, we capture uh, from 100 amp to become very low amp to concept dia so okay and then uh, the exciting current is not being transferred oh, sorry uh, okay the second thing is a primary current component okay which is available for transformation to secondary current in the inverse ratio turn kan so the winding normally we have a turn ratio lah Again, so from that, uh, that's why from this uh, primary, you got the output at secondary. It depend on the uh, ratio lah, like uh, 1000 to 1. So masuk 100 M, so that can keluar, uh, the output is 1 M lah. So that is the concept lah. Alright, uh, the exciting current is not being transformed and it therefore the cause transform error. The amount of exciting current drawn by CT depend on open core material. So it depends core material, material of the current transformer tu. Yang tengah tu kan, uh, yang, yang, yang ni lah, core dia lah. Type of core that you are using, uh, okay, you are choosing. Okay, and then uh, amount of flux that must be developed in the core. So flux dia akan develop here lah. Okay, uh, to certify output requirement of the CT kan the current okay dia ada coil here the coil here tak nampak so ni masuk and then this is the out yeah. and then uh, this is CT magnetizing curve okay uh, which you need to also to understand on how does the current transformer work so if you're referring to this uh, figure okay uh, this curve, we call it the magnetizing curve. So normally we are using a value for the current transformer, this region only. Okay, 
because uh, the first part is initial region starting okay this initial region and then uh, we also uh, have knee point for all city normally when we want to buy it have told us oh, which value for the uh, knee point we call it knee point point yeah so and then after the knee point uh, they are saturated region dah tepu dah kawasan so normally we, we don't use and uh, that area we try to uh, we try to avoid that area and then this only uh, working area for the uh, current transformer okay okay knee point apa uh, what does the knee point the knee point is the transition from unsaturated to the saturated region and so the last point uh, saturate already saturate uh, the the output uh, is a stop from there Okay, uh, this transition character make a city not to produce equivalent primary current beyond a certain point. So, not to produce already. Okay, this transition defined by knee point. Okay, it's generally uh, defined as a voltage at which the further 10% increase in the voltage and secondary side of city require more than 50%. Increase in excitation. Because uh, this area uh, from here to here lah only up to 50% uh, of the working area okay next uh, component is metering metering city okay uh, metering city uh, instrument and meter are required to work accurately to full load current but above this it is advantageous to saturate and protect the instrument under fault condition so let's say uh, let's say uh, you punya meter M meter kan M meter so katakan this meter lah kan meter so you have a uh, 0 to 100 meter 100 M so the city must have a level also of the metering uh, to cover from the uh, full load ni katakan full load 100 M they say they are over current overload kan so the current uh, flowing into the uh, your project or your design uh, is more than 100 so how how does meter want to show it because this meter only capable to up to 100 m suddenly it have a uh, 200 m uh, so that's why you have uh, to saturate and to protect the instrument if not if the if the city uh, can this city ni uh, control ni City uh, fault masuk kan, so maksimum dia katakan 100 m, so city ni akan akan uh, submit uh, apa the current through the real instrument metering tu, so if the uh, city allow the high current is going through it to the meter, so confirm this meter will be blown lah, terbakar lah uh, meter tu, so that's the concept of metering tu. And then uh, under relay tadi, under city we have two lah. Please remember, number one is the metering. Okay, metering. Number two is a protection city. So normally we use city for two function. Either for metering, metering ni uh, we, we, we use it to uh, what we call it, uh, to save the meter lah. And to make sure the metering is a uh, function well, can so we need to step down from the high current to low current, and from that the metering can be function uh, safely, yeah, because it already stepped down to the uh, uh, safe of the value of current. And then second thing is protection city. So protection city, uh, I said that protective relay are not normally expected to give tripping instruction under normal condition. So uh, on the other hand, these are concerned with wide range of current from acceptable fault setting to maximum fault. So that's why we need uh, fault protection uh, city. Dia punya curve look like this. Tak sama macam uh, magnetizing curve tu. Okay, so the concept is uh, sama macam tadi juga. Protection level, let's say, okay, you buy a city uh, Hmm, let's say for the 
CT that control the ELR kan so the ELR okay it function based on uh, whatever uh, value uh, transmit from the CT lah CT ni maybe Z CT ke whatever current transformer lah so katakan dia masuk 100M so going through the CT and then CT will convert it into just become to 5M or uh, 10M so from this value it will transmit to the ELR and ELR uh, ELR dia, it will send the signal to the breaker lah to switch on or switch off and normally dia akan letak breaker lah kan uh, breaker here uh, either ACB ke BCB and so on so it depend on this uh, ELR lah ELR akan will send the signal so the concept sama macam uh, metering juga so it depend on the CT ni the CT kan so it have also the certain value that uh, that apa uh, ELR can be performed so let's say you this uh, CT allowed more than 5M to the ELR so confirm ELR is cannot work and at the same time we want to protect also if the ELR keep working and most of the building will be uh, fired lah, terbakar lah penggunaan tu sebab protection system tak tak berfungsi dengan baik, it's not function kan, it, it should be uh, shut down okay because uh, when Ford come here meaning that there are a lot of uh, M, high M or Ford by Ford and then protection must be uh, protect lah, tripping lah uh, so that's why we need to have a uh, the current transform very important part okay uh, this is the what we call it the class of uh, low voltage classification okay uh, we can classkan okay we can classification of the switch gear into external design condition of the insulation stationary or movable enclosure or cover IP Isolation and protection measure. Normally we we di, di class kan di, bergantung. It depend on this uh, criteria lah. Ya, ada satu call lah. Tengah tengah call lah, tengah tengah lah. Ia boleh. Okay, so external design is depend on the open type assembly. So macam mana you nak you nak. Uh, this is the MSB okay or switch board ke switch board whatever type of switch board MSB ke SSB LDB how to open type assembly tu you boleh buka satu macam ni ke ataupun you can open from the back door ke ataupun I said that front assembly uh, so that uh, that front tu maksudnya area depan you, you cannot open it if you want to make a connection and so on you, you need to uh, go into uh, back door of the uh, switch gear and then the bus bar trunking system dalam tu macam mana and then uh, condition of installation either type it uh, you want to design it for indoor or outdoor so if you are planning to design the MSB or your distribution board that uh, you target to install the outside of the building so it, it must uh, referring to the standard uh, for outdoor lah. so this one is much depend on the uh, condition of the installation and then is it uh, movable uh, kan ada juga uh, we also have the uh, portable of the uh, MSB and then uh, it must enclosure of all cover and uh, enclosure ke cover and uh, this one it depend on the IP number okay and so on lah okay uh, three uh, three element. We are referring to the IEC six zero four three nine dash one. Okay, number one is clear definition of functional unit, and then form of separation, and then uh, number three clearly defined routine test and type test. So to complete your switch gear, you must uh, complete three uh, apa we call it standard ni lah. So first uh, you clear function of uh, one by one part of your design of the uh, distribution system tu a distribution board tu uh, katakan you, you design MSB uh, so you need to to 
clear function for every part okay uh, this part to have to control this area for isolation for protection and so on and then form of separation well, form of separation and later uh, after this we, we go in that we, we, we check back and then clearly function routine test and type test so before we uh, submit to the site we must perform the routine test and type test okay so first we're going to first one functional unit so uh, it define the functional unit to macam mana so part of assembly compress all the electrical and mechanical element that contribute to the fulfillment of the same function and then the switch gear include an incoming functional unit and one of or more functional unit for outgoing circuit depend on the operating requirement of the ins installation okay so the other uh, the switch gear include an incoming function kan? and one or more function for outgoing yeah? kan? so normally kita ada ni kan okay let's say the ACB and then masuk and then we output this our output lah kan that's our output lah so and this also maybe MCCB so this is the concept functional unit so one input so more output so this is the concept number one and then number two is a form of separation form of separation ni maksudnya apa uh, we, we, we are designing the MSB kan MSB this is your uh, the block of our MSB okay from the MSB uh, we can we, we need to refer to the standard okay there are four type of the form of separation which is form one two three and four and two the other two a and the three t a three a three b kan four a four b concept dia so apa benda tu so uh this okay it's uh, better to understand if you referring to this and uh, ni lah reference ni lah this is the housing okay this is the housing Housing ni cover tu lah yang you nampak the first space tu kan The first space of the MSB tu, the outside tu Okay, this is the what we call housing lah, your house, housing As I mentioned uh, for during the lab kan So, kotak-kotak yang you design dalam schematic tu kan Let's say this is your uh, schematic kan? Uh, kan So, this is the uh, very, very important part lah kan this is the housing and then uh, B internet segregation internet segregation maksudnya apa we have separation part ok katakan this one is input area input and this one this part compartment is for output we try to separate it ok and this one uh, bus bar and then uh, mana lagi uh, C a functional unit lah functional unit breaker lah breaker so if uh, you design MSB form one, dia tak ada any segregation, no segregation. You can see you open the uh, switch gear, you can see all of this thing. Okay, referring to the JKI, you must use form four B. Okay, JKI nya style. Uh, paling kurang form four A. Paling kurang. You cannot provide this system for project JKI. Okay. So apa yang JKR nak? So JKR said your design MSP must use form 4B. So form 4B, uh, what the best form 4B? They said terminal in the same compartment as the associate functional unit. So you can see this uh, separation for every component. Nampak tak? So selamat lah. So maksudnya it have a wall separation part for every single things there. So katakan uh, let's say they, uh, this part is a uh, blunt or, to, or any fault there So the arcing from this part is not uh, affected to the another uh, for this this part lah. So this is the good of this uh, form 4A Okay, say so that separation of the bus bar So bus bar di asingkan Okay, this bus bar kan So this is outside from this casing And then uh, separation of the unit from each other and then plus 
separation of the terminal of each other. So yang ni bagi empat bawah ni bahagian termination and the connection cable to the uh, protection part. Also they provide the uh, separate uh, compartment. Okay because let's say during the termination have the some arcing kan. So the arcing just uh, inside of this uh, compartment. It's not uh, affected to the other component. So that's good of form for B lah. So it depends on you uh, which type of form separation that you want to use for your project. Nanti akan ditanya oleh saya dan juga Cik Zam lah. Kenapa you pilih form form 1 or uh, what form segregation that uh, form of separation that you you select for your project. So that's the idea that you must know lah for during your design. Okay, clear? Uh, protection, electrical protection. Uh, protection ni apa? So protection is same lah. Dia kata ni the meaning of food protection is same uh, with every day that we use. Uh, people protect them, themselves kan? Again personal or financial loss by me insurance. Uh, so manusia dia guna insurance lah untuk, untuk protection dia kan. Uh, so for electrical, uh, kita ada protection juga lah nak protect untuk selamat. Kan? That's why we, we provide uh, the breaker and so on to make sure selamat lah in order to 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 be safe lah. Okay, for further protect their property by installation of security measure such as lock and alarm. Ni manusia punya style lah kalau you nak, you nak protect your house kan. You letak lah apa uh, kunci ke alarm and so on CCTV and so on. That's one that's uh, for housing kan. You want to protect your house but to protect the electrical system uh, you need to you put MCB, ESCB kan, uh, relay and so on. According to the IE regulation, you can open that uh, IE regulation that I shared to you already. Uh, part 4, uh, chapter 41, 42 until uh, 53, uh, this on the book, on that book, detailed explanation on the protection against electric shock, against thermal effect, against overcurrent, under voltage, and isolating and switching. So try to read it, try to understand it, apa yang, why does uh, protection for safety kan, uh, include on that part. So please understand it because uh, this is the, the main, the main contribution of the protection and the first thing on the under electrical design, uh, we must consider the safety kan. So why? So this uh, topic will explain clearly for you. So why on how you, you need to design. Uh, let's say for again electric shock. So what we need to consider in uh, under our design to protect again electric shock. Uh, what does must, what does must not be perform. And you try to, to open it and try to read it. Very simple je. Okay, overcurrent. So overcurrent ni apa? Overcurrent means a greater level of current lah. Termasuk overcurrent. Let's say current uh, our MCCB kan uh, 10M. Uh, 20M lah uh, our socket kan. Uh, socket 20M. And then uh, you are using more than that. Overload kan. Ataupun fault ke apa kan. So it's become 30, 30M. So from that, from that it must break lah. Kan? We must break it. We must close it. Kalau tak, uh, dia akan masuk dalam sistem. So, the rest will be affected lah. So, overcurrent can be divided into two. So, first is overload current. And number two is uh, fault or short circuit current. Okay. The overload. Okay. Oh, yeah, clear. We call it overcurrent. Under overcurrent, we have two. Kan? Normally, we kita sebut overcurrent, overcurrent kan. Overcurrent tu, it have two two function. Okay. So that's why if you check back your design, kan. Your design, let's say this MCCB kan. Uh, schematic diagram yang you are draw last, last week kan. So this one is uh, ESCB. And then below than that you have MCCB. So this we call it overcurrent. Overcurrent protection. Why? Because this part 
to control the short skirt current this part to cover the over current uh, over overload current and that's why we put this two part to equipment please understand eh? nanti kita tengok apa function ESB apa beza dia uh, what is function MCCB is it uh, dua-dua breaker uh, boleh tak kita pasang on, can we install just only one can or not the answer is not we must install separately but what happened in your house kan uh, they install only one thing so after this please check back your house okay overload can be defined as current which exceed the rated lebih pada over than rated okay so that is the uh, overload lah overload current uh, usually occur because the circuit is abused or because it has been badly designed for modified it's based on, the, on your design lah kan let's say breaker uh, breaker for socket only 20 amp but you put more than 4 atau or more than 20 amp kan you letak 10 soket you put 10 soket and then the protection for the soket you just put 20 20 amp and then sometimes uh, the user just plug in all 10 uh, plug and then they on uh, at the same time so confirm it will become over current overload kan kan uh, so bila overload so the protection must function well it must protect there if not it will affect it to the uh, incoming uh. and that is sebabnya berlaku kebakaran tu so that's why you need to have uh, to function it and then this current higher than those intend to be present in the system uh, in, if such current persists they will result increase connected temperature because of the over current kan overload tu uh, bila tu nampak if they have uh, more uh, current required and then will produce very high current high temperature and temperature it will rise insulation temperature and then the when the conductor is a uh, high temperature confirm the insulation of the cable will be melt cayak kan cayak habis itu so mulalah dia akan short dengan cable yang sebelah so dia akan be sparking from the sparking it will produce the fire and from fire terbakar lah rumah kamu tu Alright, and then uh, number two is short circuit. Short circuit ni apa pula? Short circuit is the current that will flow with a dead short. Dead short ni apa? Laluan yang disentuh lah. Between live conductor. Okay, let's say you have two cable. Kan? Uh, this one is live. And then uh, let's say this is the neutral. Kan? Uh, ataupun uh, let's say for this one for single phase lah kan satu phase kalau three phase it also we have three phase kan R, Y, B so it, it can possible this this one touch this one also uh, we call it short circuit ni panggil dead short lah touch live dengan neutral jadi apa? Uh, you pernah tengok kan? Uh, so let's say your your plug kan your laptop kan your laptop you can disable live touch neutral what will happen tu dia punya ah short short circuit normally ESCB akan trip ESCB kan ESCB automatic ah i believe that most always call it automatic <laughs> mereka kan so when it touch confirm ESCB will be trip but if not trip there will something else will be happen because it may be hundred of time greater than rated current so let's say we set the current is uh, 20 amp so when the short circuit happen it can be 2000 amp so very very uh, dangerous okay so that's all for first slide and then we try to go to the second slide very short uh, briefing so reminder for the assignment i think i already uh, uh, remind all, all of you and then uh, uh, configuration of LV uh, circuit okay uh, let's say your design you want to uh, to configure okay how how does a uh, form of our configuration that you you can con consider okay uh, what type okay this topic just uh, to explain to to introduce all of you which configuration that are available during your the design 
So first is a radial single video single configuration. So uh, load ni, you just connect to this one uh, input lah. Yeah, normally this is the uh, simple one lah. No redundancy in case of power supply. So let's say power supply fail, let's say TMD fail, so blackout lah. Very simple. Normally macam tu lah design, our design look like this lah. Very simple kan. And then uh, configuration number two is two pool configuration. Two pool mean that uh, you have two, two supply. Okay, the supply is provided by two transformer connected to the same MV line. This new MV lah, medium voltage, medium medium line voltage system. When transformer are closed, they are generally connected in parallel to the same. Uh, bila bila they are close, this one close, and this one also close. So it will connected to the same same supply in parallel lah. So this uh, load it can uh, take supply from this. Uh, Transformer also from this one. So good lah. I can have two supply. Yeah, can. Maybe this one is strip. Uh, so it still can use uh, the another uh, transformer. So the system will stay uh, operate lah. Okay, number three. Two pool configuration with two and half M MLVS and no link. Okay. Uh, we have two transformer but we have no ni normally open kan so in order to increase the availability in case of failure the bus bar of the entire maintenance so let's say you want to perform the maintenance lah especially kan kalau macam macam ni okay, let's say for this type if you want to perform the maintenance kan so macam ni you cannot ha, you cannot perform maintenance because the supply is directly kan we don't have we cannot separate it so for this part we can uh, separate by use uh, and oh, normally open ni to split the element kita nak asingkan uh, supply from here let's say the supply we switch on so the supply is here kan so we want to to make uh, make the maintenance here so we just close here and then we can do whatever maintenance at this area okay uh, then uh, sheetable switchboard Sheetable ni maksud bahasa Melayu apa eh? Swap lah. Connection. Maksudnya kita boleh connect lah. Eh? Connect. Uh, normally uh, normally this part uh, what we call it uh, interrupt when need uh, overload generator operation. Kan? Kita uh, we apply this apa? Uh, sheetable circuit uh, can be macam portable lah. We can call it uh, like portable. Okay, the connection to the MV is interrupt when the need, uh, when when needed. Okay, so let's say uh, uh, we have the genset, we can, uh, we, we can, apa? let's say this genset, we can uh, control using this method, uh, LB switchboard. And then uh, interconnected switchboard. So how to make uh, the interconnection of the switchboard? So this is your switchboard. So you can uh, use this method also. Uh, you have to transformer. Okay, this breaker and then this bus bar. So uh, can you have a lot of a breaker here? So this this configuration we call it interconnected switchboard lah. So very good system. So if transformer are physically distant from one another, they may be connected by a bus bar trunking. A critical load may be supplied by one of the other transformer. The availability of power is therefore improved lah. Kan? So, kan? So, the availability of this uh, load ni kan? So, it can uh, get supply from this TI or this TI. Transformer 2 or transformer 1. Uh, if you want to use uh, from transformer 1, you just uh, close this uh, circle. So, it can get the supply. Uh, vice versa lah, if went to this, this, uh, this uh, apa, supply. And then the redundancy can be, okay. Uh, total is transformer being capable of supply all of the installation. So, redund redundant ni maksud dia boleh ada banyak kali lah. Maksud dia, uh, this supply, it can be, when you talk by total, mean that uh, it can get uh, supply from this one and this one at the same time for the whole whole uh, numbers 
and then uh, partial mean that each transformer only being able to supply part of the installation part of load must be disconnect so this uh, for example lah. so this load of this bus bar only possible half sahaja partial lah. so bahagian uh, you can get only half because uh, maybe your design can maybe you have a lot of uh, load here can you have a load here and then uh, maybe this uh, transformer is a thousand m but this one is a 500 m can so normal condition you take uh, supply from this uh, transformer suddenly suddenly transformer this transformer is uh, shut down tak nampak boleh hijau eh okay let suddenly this transformer is a uh, trip so so you open this one you open this breaker so this load can be safe but in order to make it uh, this load is perform or operate so you can use the supply from uh, this transformer transformer 2 so you just open you just uh, open this uh, switch using automatic transfer switch so the supply will be will coming from this transformer directly to this load but since the normal is 100 1000 uh, m and this only 500 m so this transformer conform will cannot uh, cover for the whole of the load kan so you must separate it lah right. so that's why normally when you dealing with the genset uh, you must consider the essential 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 uh, essential value essential uh, essential maksudnya you need to decide which uh, part is very important yeah. important uh, circuit lah important load so you need to decide which one kan contoh let's say uh, in your house uh, in your room okay you sure you have you have maybe you have a uh, two socket kan uh, between two socket you need to decide which which socket uh, category essential essential ni maksud dia uh, when we are tripping we are failure from the uh, main supply so the another supply which will uh, will connect it and try to buy to bring your uh, energy sources lah energy supply uh, kita nak yang yang macam tu backup supply but we just select which one very important uh, okay and kalau you can cover for the total for the total one it's okay no problem no need to provide the essential because you you can cover by whole of the system but normally normally we design we just can able to cover partial of the system sebahagian je lah okay so maybe on on the room uh, between two socket only one socket will be uh, able to operate okay then uh, yeah. ni settle okay, and then uh, ring configuration next is the ring configuration so ring configuration if you can see from here uh, this is our load and we have one two three four supply so this very good system lah if you can provide this system so meaning that your project is very uh, level 3a lah eh. very good system lah so you have four supply kan kalau let's say this apa this supply strip you you still have three supply to back up your system kan okay so this configuration can be considered as an extension of the configuration yang yang before this uh, interconnection tu interconnection you only have two right so but for this uh, ring uh, you have a four transformer uh, supply ring using bus bar trunking eh. so this one we call it bus bar ni okay uh, nampak it close loop kan that's why we call it a ring okay mana dia okay a uh, gi uh, given load is then supply power by several cluster transformer so we try to cluster it lah and transformer tu it's well suit to extend installation with high load density lah uh, normally normally very high load this load is very let's say for uh, 
uh, 8000M kan uh, So this, maybe this one 200, uh, 2000M kan 2000 and this one also 2000 and 2000 and normally we, we make it like this because normally we, we don't provide single a single transformer with 8000 because it's too big kan too big uh, transformer so normally we, we make it a parallel uh, transformer uh, with the uh, separation look like this lah configuration so we try to spread instead of you buy 8000 uh, m transformer compared to the 2000 by 4 you still can get a lot of saving uh, Okay, and then uh, if all of this uh, load can be supplied by three transformer, that's total redundancy lah. Okay, in fact, each bus bar can be fed. So during that time, you must uh, check also the this this apa what we call bus bar are capable to cater. Let's say uh, this uh, trip, can uh, this transformer trip. Uh, so the rest okay the the what uh, uh, this supply uh, should be taken by this uh, this one or this one or this one kan let's say uh, you want to take it uh, from this one supply but you must consider the bus bar value from here is possible to get supply from here and because this maybe maybe this also uh 2000m but the bus bar here you must make sure that capable to handle 2000 m lah and because normally normally maybe maybe uh, this one just to cover this load very low load kan katakan this load uh, 100 m saja so it was designed bus bar to cover 100 load only 100 m only but uh, sometime uh, when when we design uh, ring circuit so uh, this 2000 kan this 2000 m 2000 m are need to transfer to this load so this way kan must be capable to bring to 2000m lah uh, that the issue that they are trying to, to explain here lah okay in fact each bus bar can be fed power by one of other otherwise downgrade operation must be considered so kalau that issue you need to downgrade lah maybe instead of your load uh, 2000m you try to uh, to downgrade lah to become only maybe 500 m saja. so that time so you still can operate but very low uh, low low output lah and then this is we call it a uh, double ended power supply double ended meaning that uh, you can have several uh, type of the output this conversion is implemented in case where maximum availability is required the principle involves two independent power source so maybe okay two ah there are two either two transformer supply different mv we have two two transformer lah. so one or this one number two one transformer and one generator so we have one transformer and the other one one gen set and then the, the rest is a uh, one transformer and one ups maybe we we, we use a uh, one transformer and the another thing one ups this configuration is normally we provide in our system Kan, normally we get, uh, we provide from uh, one from transformer satu so gen set lah, kan, to back up our system uh, power supply. Uh, ATS is uh, used to avoid the gas source being parallel connected. Okay, this configuration allow uh, preventive and corrective maintenance to be carried out all the electrical distribution. So normally we you must use the ATS. Okay yang yang switching ni kan switching di antara uh, sini dengan sini tu normally it must use ATS lah automatic transfer switch okay kita tak nak okay we don't want that uh, at the same time uh, okay this load take from both supply so normally this uh, this genset and uh, transformer cannot work out in parallel session directly cannot it must have only one source saja okay so that's why you need to have the ATS okay configuration combination lastly is the combination you can combine all of the type uh, configuration that we are already uh, learned uh, before this run 
So uh, this one number one, number two and number three. We try to combine three of the configuration into one of the design. So it depends on you lah. So after this you can decide uh, which uh, configuration that you are going to design for your project. Okay. So these are possible but it depends on your uh, your function lah. Okay. For your project. Is, is it possible? Is it uh, mandatory or is it just a uh, short short saja you want to perform it? So why you must have why why I I want to design like this? Uh, okay, uh, I think uh, that's all. The configuration ni the last data and instruction can be made up several sub assemblies with different configuration according to the requirement for the availability. So the load also uh, can be have a genset UPS and so on from the outside lah, and then this is the another part. And then pakai dua transformer kan, and then this is separate. Uh, so this this is the example of the sharing yeah, sharing configuration. Okay, so I think uh, this all uh, for me for this uh, topic. So we we will see tomorrow lah, tomorrow evening kan, uh, tomorrow afternoon uh, three to four. Kan, uh, okay. So this week we don't have any lab. Uh, you just prepare for your assignment. Okay, even our teaching plan is set to to be assignment two this week, but uh, this week we just we are able only uh, what we call it uh, only we can make it the assignment one eh? assignment one only. Okay, uh, please remind me to upload the drawing for your project paling lewat on the Saturday paling lewat. So I will try to work out hardly for to help you because I believe most of you dah tak sabar nak buat segment kan. So uh, that's all lah. So is there any anything that uh, you want to ask related to assignment ke, lab ke, group project ke and anything before we stop our class for today. Okay, I open to the floor. Ada apa-apa nak tanya tak? Uh, sir nak tanya. Okay. Sir, uh, kalau macam yang sebagi yang drawing tu, okay. kiranya dalam AutoCAD tu, kiranya kita kena just masukkan simbol-simbol lampu ke atau kena ada wiring dia sampai DB ke ke macam mana? Maksudnya cuma ada simbol-simbol lampu ke campur wire sampai ke switch box kena draw switch box semua? Oh ok good question. Uh, untuk assignment satu ni uh, kamu just draw draw light ya, macam yang saya bagi ni lah. Seperti contoh eh. Contoh yang saya belum delete ni. So contohnya uh, block HEPA. Okay, HEPA. Saya buka HEPA. So what you should draw only uh, let's say mana lighting ni. Okay, lighting. Okay, ha, you just draw like this. Lighting symbol only. Okay, emergency light, lighting dia. And then the best part adalah you try to make some line lah. Let's say this circuit kan. Ha, macam uh, macam ni dia 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 tak buat line dotted line kan, dotted line showing the circuit, ya yeah, satu circuit tapi kalau you tak mau buat macam tu you also can make and you need to label T5, T5, T5 tu maksud dia circuit yang T5 lah ya. kan ha, macam tu tapi better uh, you make a line lah clear, contoh lain di uh, another example pentadbiran tadi kot Sir Ya yeah. Maksudnya soket, ha. DB semua ha. tak payah letak lagi ya? Ha, tak sebab ni tajuk lighting. Lighting ha. Alright. Ha, buat buat lighting tu. Kita bagi yang mulut yang senang tu. Tak okay. saya bagi yang besar tu. Senang lah buat ni. Alright. Ha, dua minggu lah projek dua minggu lah ni. No? So simbol-simbol you just put it simbol and then you just uh, make it line macam ni lah. Circuit tu. And then you label circuit ni. 
Sebab you, you label circuit ni bergantung kepada excel yang you draw tu You, you calculate kan You buat, uh, you, you kira lah siap-siap First step you, you buat table lighting calculation tu Kan you, you, you calculate siap berapa bilangan lampu katakan satu bilik tu you dapat 10 lampu So 10 lampu you can make it into one circuit 10 lampu contoh macam ni kan dia satu ni sampai ha, dia buat lapan ni lapan circuit kan ha, lapan uh, lampu one circuit boleh tak ada masalah sebab dia maksimum one circuit up to ten number of lighting okay so macam tu lah you buat so bila you dapat sepuluh so dalam uh, separate excel excel yang satu lagi you kena buat macam circuit number lah untuk kita guna uh, nanti kalau perlu saya share lah saya share uh, Uh, kalau ada buku tu senang kan, kalau ada buku ni Buku yang saya bagi tu dalam tu ada contoh Tapi saya, saya percaya lah most of you uh, yang diploma tu Dia dah ada pengalaman dah buat table tu Table what we call it, table TCL MD You guna template tu, you boleh tengok You, you masukkan circuit number You try buat Excel dalam page 27 tu Page 27 tu saya dah bagi contoh table uh, TCL MD lah So dalam tu you boleh tengok lah senang cara ni kan Cara you nak, you nak tulis uh, circuit tu ada berapa Contoh macam ni ada 10 lampu You tulis 10 lampu And then, then you labelkan lah You labelkan macam ni R6 kan R6 So it same into your Excel Excel R6 So nanti you, you check Oh calculation you tengok macam ni Dalam drawing tu sama macam tu Benda ni uh, Bagus kalau you buat siap-siap Because once you have this thing, easy for you to to draw this schematic diagram nanti. Ha, tu je. Sebab nanti kalau you just buat layout ni, you tak you tak state kan. You tak you tak ada uh, area yang nak labelkan circuit berapa, circuit mana ni. Nanti bila you you nak buat uh, schematic diagram, you nak kena cari satu-satu, makin sana. Waktu tu lah baru you, you feel uh, design tu. Ha, kan? Kesusahannya tu. Okay. I hope clear kot Ada apa-apa lagi nak tanya? Sir Ya yeah. Nak tanya kalau tempat tu macam L shape So bila, bila kita ukur tu, kita dah kira lampu tu Kuantiti uh, lampu tu dapat satu So macam bila L shape tu kalau satu tu dia tak tahu lagi sebelah tu lah Macam mana tu tempat macam tu? Uh, ruang L Tapi kita dapat satu je Ha uh. Ha uh. Macam mana you, you kira L boleh ni Maksudnya you, you, you calculate je lah total dia Kalau macam yang lab 2 hari tu yang ada tempat satu tu dia bentuk L Kalau kita pakai lampu 1 kali 36 watt tu ha, Dia yeah. dapat satu je ha, Tak apa tak ada masalah yang tu orang tu Kalau you dapat satu tak apa lah you just put satu eh. at least you, you arrange lah kawasan mana yang yang it possible to cover the whole area tu Kan Macam ni lah area ni kan L lah lebih kurang L lah sini kan Sini sampai sini kan L juga lah ni kan L sikit so Bila you design lampu kan ha. Biasanya katakan you dapat lima Ni dia pakai downlight kan dia boleh, dia boleh arrange ikut bilik ni Tapi kalau dia pakai uh, apa pena floor ni Fluorescent ni Confirm dia tak dapat lima dia akan dapat satu je So bila dia dapat satu ya mungkin dia letak di tengah-tengah ni saja kan lampu tu Ha, kan. So itu atas kebijaksanaan kamu lah. So bila you jumpa isu macam tu macam mana you nak make sure the whole uh, the whole area of the apa room tu dia boleh dapat pencahayaan yang cukup. Ha, kan. Calculation sama aja. Cuma you kena pandai main lah benda tu. Dia tak salah. Dia tak salah kalau you pakai satu kali 36 pun betul sebab you proof by calculation betul. Ha, cuma in implementation tu nampak macam Okay tak okay kan. Kalau you just letak sini satu tu Nanti bila tutup pintu jamban ni confirm gelap ni area ni kan ha. Pintu toilet confirm gelap. Ha. So kalau you letak kat atas ni area toilet ni saja pula ha, cerah kan Area nak basuh tangan ni gelap. So you kena consider all all these things lah So, so no? kalau macam tu kalau kurangkan watt tu pakai satu kali lapan belas Dapat dua dulu. Satu dua kan. Ha, itu lagi cantik kan tu Macam tu lah. Itu maksud dia. Okay. Alright. Alright.
uh, I heard that uh, one friend, one of your friend, uh, still don't have uh, any group. So mana group yang tak cukup lima orang tu, I will try to help him lah to just put it to slot in lah. Okay, no. Saya harap boleh terima lah kawan-kawan yang pendatang asing ni. <laughs> okay, sebab uh, he or she uh, not able to find friend. Kan? Dia apa? Tak boleh cakap apa. Seorang-seorang punya style ni kan. So our project actually we want to find team. Maybe dia repeat kan so on. Tapi I hope you can help him lah. Okay. Uh, group mana yang yang akan dapat a new member or uh, you just dapat member kan so this semester we will have a two time for peer review so you just uh, give the result and you just review your friend and then uh, from there I will know lah siapa yang buat kerja and siapa yang tak buat kerja so from there I will give a mark based on your peer review tu lah your peer review is uh, very important eh for this project because we want, uh, we don't want a one one man show lah. Maksud dia group ada lima orang tapi yang buat kerja seorang lah. Kan? So let's say kalau seorang ni dia bagi makan untuk empat-empat orang kosong. Kan? So I will ask him directly lah. Kan? Betul ke empat orang tak buat kerja? Ataupun empat orang ni yang buat kerja dia seorang tak buat kerja tapi dia buat bagi salah kan? Ha, tu saya akan double check lah. So kalau ada, I believe this issue will came out and uh, normally hujung-hujung semester lah kan before we submit this uh, complete project dia akan ada benda tu uh, baru ada tak adil lah uh, aku tak tidur malam kan dia duduk relax lah kan waktu tu akan ada so kalau is there that issue you just let me know lah so I will give a uh, mark lah yang bersesuaian lah dengan dia contribution okay so I think that's all good for today Clear kan? Semua dah clear kan? Okay, saya, saya nak kena siapkan drawing untuk kamu buat cepat-cepat uh, sikit. Okay, I think I, that's all. Thank you. Uh, see you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.